The leadership shakeup at Toyota, with Koji Sato stepping into the shoes of a Kia Toyota, signaled more than just a routine transition. It marked the beginning of profound changes for the Japanese automotive giant. At the forefront of these shifts is Toyota's bold new direction, the unveiling of its hydrogen combustion engine. Enjoying the content? Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss out on our latest updates. Join us for more insights and exciting news. Be part of the community today. While many automakers are fully committing to a future powered by electric vehicles, Toyota continues to forge its own path, championing hydrogen as the true answer to sustainable propulsion. This daring stance was first realized with the launch of the Mirai, the world's first mass-produced hydrogen fuel cell vehicle. Now, with Sato at the helm, Toyota is taking things even further with the introduction of the H2 combustion engine. The traditional internal combustion engine, ICE, which has long powered the automotive world, is under intense scrutiny as manufacturers shift to cleaner, electric alternatives. However, Toyota's innovative approach is offering a fresh solution to the question of ICE's future. Today, electric vehicles have proven their mettle, competing with, and in some areas, even surpassing, ICE-powered cars in crucial performance parameters such as range, energy efficiency, and operational cost. Nevertheless, despite the clear advantages of adopting EVs and the fervent clamoring for an electric future by several car manufacturers, Toyota remains unwavering in its pursuit of a hydrogen-powered future. The company's hydrogen-centric vision is starting to bear fruit, as evidenced by its latest innovation, the H2 internal combustion engine. Toyota's illustrious journey in the realm of hydrogen-powered vehicles cannot be discussed without spotlighting the Mirai. Starting in 1992, Toyota began exploring hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicles. The resultant Mirai became a testament to their vision, constantly evolving through rounds of remodeling and enhancements. In 2014, the first mass-produced Mirai hit the market, originally intended only for Japan. However, the vehicle's commendable success resulted in Toyota expanding its availability to markets worldwide. To this day, the Mirai remains an unmatched success story in the arena of hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicles, FCEVS. Even under the new leadership of CEO Koji Sato, Toyota's steadfast dedication to hydrogen fuel rather than electricity, remains unshaken, though it's noteworthy that the company has invested in EVs in recent years. Koji Sato recently confessed that he doesn't envision EVs usurping hydrogen-powered cars anytime soon. In a significant departure from the Mirai's fuel cell technology, which uses hydrogen to generate electricity, Toyota's innovative engine is a hydrogen combustion engine, the H2 internal combustion engine, introduced in the Corolla H2 Cross prototype, signals the dawn of a new era in hydrogen fuel transport. Though still in the development stage, it's safe to assume this engine is set to disrupt the automotive industry's approach to using hydrogen fuel. Toyota has presented a compelling case that fuel cells aren't the only viable method of harnessing its potential. The company demonstrates that internal combustion engines also offer a zero-emission alternative that can effectively drive the wheels of progress. Toyota's GR Corolla H2 Cross prototype, drawing inspiration from the GR Corolla, is a fusion of its superior handling and the eco-friendly credentials of the hydrogen engine. This turbocharged 1.6-liter three-cylinder hydrogen combustion engine delivers a formidable 300 horsepower. The all-wheel drive car employs a six-speed intelligent manual transmission and features variable torque distribution. Toyota's racing division has also embraced this H2 ICE, as exemplified in the Corolla Sport race cars. The hydrogen-powered GR Corolla H2 made its racing debut in 2021 at Japan's Super Taikyu Series endurance races.
Since its first outing, the engine's performance has seen significant enhancements to reach a comparable level to traditional carbon engines. A key reason for Toyota's conviction lies in the zero-emission operation of hydrogen fuel cell vehicles. Unlike traditional vehicles, these produce no tailpipe emissions. The sole byproduct of a fuel cell vehicle's chemical reaction is water vapor, which contributes significantly to improved air quality. Then there's the matter of range and refueling time. Fuel cell vehicles offer driving ranges that are on par with conventional gasoline vehicles. The refueling process of a hydrogen vehicle, remarkably, is relatively fast, taking just a few minutes. This characteristic provides a notable advantage over EVS, which typically require longer charging periods. Versatility and flexibility are another area where Toyota sees significant potential. The company firmly believes that hydrogen fuel cell technology can be effectively applied to various vehicle types, including passenger cars, commercial vehicles, and even heavy-duty applications like buses and trucks. This demonstrates the adaptability of this technology. From an energy perspective, hydrogen offers another fascinating prospect. It can function as a form of energy storage, facilitating the integration of renewable energy sources into the energy system. This feature makes hydrogen an exciting proposition, not just for the automotive industry, but for the broader energy sector as well. Considering scalability and infrastructure potential, Toyota envisions a scenario where a comprehensive hydrogen infrastructure network is developed, supporting the widespread adoption of fuel cell vehicles. While creating such an infrastructure certainly poses challenges, Toyota believes that these can be overcome with concerted effort and innovation. Toyota doesn't just see a future powered by hydrogen, it is actively working to create that future. Their new H2 internal combustion engine could well be the game changer that cements the Japanese automaker's place in the future. What do you think about this? Let us know in the comments section.